Let's look at the networking options in VirtualBox 6. We need to choose a VirtualBox that is not running, so it's got to be powered off as we have done here. And I'll click on Settings. And we'll click on the Network option. So we see four different adapters. And this basically means we can add four adapters that will show up in our network adapters in our Windows computer, assuming that, that you're using a Windows client. If you're using Linux or Mac, then you'll see those additional adapters as well, wherever you would normally see one in those particular operating systems. So even though I only have one physical adapter in my host, I can actually make four virtual adapters if I'd like. Now, by default, you're going to see one of these adapters enabled and you have attached to various different options. We have NAT, uh, NAT network, bridge adapter, internal host only adapter and generic driver. So uh, usually there's just a couple that you need to be uh, thinking about. NAT is the default when you install one of these virtual machines. And that basically means that it can go out to the internet, it can connect to everything. So if that's what you want, then enable NAT. However, if you want to just have enabled the internal network adapter, what that does is it will only communicate with other uh, virtual machines in the network, but it will not be able to get out to the internet. So you can decide which one is important for you. There's these other options as well, bridged adapter, which does both. Uh, then you have host only adapter, which will only communicate with the uh, host itself and generic driver for really old operating systems. Uh, also, the default name is going to be INTNet. So if you're going to choose the internal network, make sure your other virtual machines are also set to INTNet unless you choose to create additional networks. If we expand the advanced option, we can see our adapter type. Now, by default, it's showing the Intel Pro 1000. So it tries to find the best driver for the physical host NIC that it sees. If we hit the drop down, we can choose other options as well. And the only reason you would want to choose the other options is if you cannot get networking to work. Then you can choose some of these other, one, other ones until you find one that does. So 99% of the time, VirtualBox will detect the correct driver. But every once in a while, you'll have to go in and choose each one of these until one of them works for you. You'll want to deny promiscuous mode. That's uh, if we want to do any port mirroring. We're not going to be doing that in general. And your MAC address. If you ever clone another virtual machine, then this MAC address will be the same as your, your other server that you cloned. So you'll need to go in and make a change to one of these numbers or letters. It has to be a number 0 through 9 or a letter A through F. And that's because a MAC address is hexadecimal. And uh, A through F represents 10 through 15. So you'll need to uh, make sure it's something different other than your original virtual machine. We also have cable connected. Now cable connected basically means that it's not only going to show up as a network card, but it's also going to show up as a usable network card. So you'll want to make sure that that is connected. Uh, if we want to add an additional adapter, we just go in and check that as well. So by having these two adapters, if I booted up the virtual machine right now, I would see two different adapters that I could configure. So let's do that. I'm just going to enable the second network adapter. I've got the first one in there as well. I'll click OK. And now I'll double click on my virtual machine so it starts up. And we'll just confirm that those adapters show up. We have booted into our operating system, and if we go down to the network icon and right-click on it next to the clock, we can choose the Open Network and Sharing Center option. And we'll click the Change Adapter settings, and we see two network cards. Only one of the network cards was pre-configured, so we'll see that uh, on IPv4, it already has an IP address. But on our second Ethernet adapter, we didn't actually configure this one, so it should show DHCP, and it does. So that's how we configure networking in VirtualBox version 6.